So you got a problem with the brisket? Guys, I'm gonna solve that problem with you and show you a few pretty easy tricks to make sure you're a backyard hero and you get more girls. So we got here is your basic 15.8 pound Costco brisket, guys. It's a full packer. Not too spectacular here with the marbling, but it's pretty decent. It's got a nice thick fat cap. And what we're gonna do here is season it up with some jalapeno mustard, some SPG, and of course, red crushed red pepper flakes. So you might wanna ask, what about trimming? Well, I'm gonna skip over this spot and just kind of speed it up, guys. This isn't a video about trimming. There are plenty of other videos online about that, and I'm just gonna get past that. But what I do wanna say is get a super sharp knife. Take your time, don't cut any fingers off, and make sure you do it right. But for a good backyard brisket, guys, it's not as critical as you think. So just have fun, think about yield, and feeding all those kids hanging around the pool, or hungry wives and girlfriends. So what we end up here with is a really good, what I believe is a good weight for a backyard brisket, right around 12 pounds, give or take a pound or so. To me, that says 12 hours or less, and I'm not gonna end up waking up at four to have to cook it so that I can eat before I go to bed. And seasoning, like I mentioned, the schmear of your choice. Today I'm using jalapeno mustard. We like a little bit of that nice uh, chili flavor, uh, it's just, it tastes so good, guys. I chose to put the red pepper flakes on next, followed by the SPG. Now, be generous with the SPG. What you can't be generous with is the salt. Don't oversalt it at this point. In fact, the ratio for my SPG is 50% crushed pepper flakes, followed by 25-25 of garlic, either granulated garlic or garlic salt, and then your kosher salt, or even Celtic salt, guys, if you can find some. So the bottom line is you don't want a problem with the brisket, so make sure you season it to your taste and your preference. So my Traeger here, after all these years, is still huffing away, guys. It, it, it has not skipped a beat. And today we're gonna be using Pit Boss pellets. I believe it's a gourmet blend. It's really just kind of a utility pellet, but they're very reliable and very good flavored. I'm setting it for 250 degrees. I've vacuumed it out already. I've cleaned up the grates, and now it's time for that brisket to go in. Fat cap up. Now, to settle a backyard argument that's been going on since caveman days, it doesn't matter. Fat down or fat up, it doesn't matter, guys. So but today, because I wasn't even thinking of it, I went fat cap up. But you can certainly go fat cap down. Again, your liking. So the official time right here is 6 a.m and we got about 12 hours of reliable cooking coming in. And I'm gonna show you uh, at the end how good this thing came out. So about four hours in, I decided to take a peek. Now, I'm not doing any spritzing here, guys, but I noticed a pulling of some juices and liquid, probably the fat right over the flat. So one way of solving this issue, if you think it's an issue, is when you're putting the brisket on for the first time, put a little chunk of wood under that area and it's gonna make a nice little uh, uh, roof, if you will, and it'll shed off that uh, moisture. Again, guys, unless you're doing some kind of a contest, don't even worry about it. I didn't have any problems. Now, eventually, you're going to have to decide in your world, do you want to wrap or are you going to go all the way without wrapping, tenting, whatever? Okay, what works for me is I took some pink butcher paper. I lightly spritzed it. Again, the only time I've used spritz is on the paper. To kind of wet up the paper a little bit makes it easier to fold and whatnot. And, it, and let me just clear something up, guys. It's not necessarily to keep the paper from sticking to the brisket. Your brisket is not gonna stick to the paper. And then I folded it up, guys, trying to remember which side was up when I was cooking it. That may be the most important thing here that I could think of other than turning on your Traeger, but just kind of go with the uh, same side up because uh, good brisket is all about consistency. Once you find what works for you, you wanna repeat that exact process and refine it, okay? So that's probably the only secret there is to barbecue because it's just really hard to quantify that. Now I forgot to mention that I based the wrapping time off of the internal temperature, 165 degrees, widely understood to be where the brisket hits a stall. Now I didn't know whether it was a stall or not, I just decided to wrap it anyway. And when I put it back on the Traeger, I cranked the temperature up 
25 degrees Fahrenheit to 275 degrees Fahrenheit because it's wrapped and now I'm just setting it and forgetting it. I'm not even gonna look at it until 6 p.m. And guys, that's when the magic happened. Let me tell you, just the smell and the aroma of that thing coming off the Traeger, bringing it in the house through all that paper was fabulous. The, the beef aroma was just, yeah, it just made us so hungry. So one little tip, guys, regarding that paper that's soaked in all that uh, brisket tallow, you could wrap that up, put it in an airtight bag or container of some kind and use it as kindling to start your fire next time, guys. So think about saving that paper. And man, what a color and texture it had. Look at this bark, guys. To me, that's dead nuts on. We love that kind of bark. And then after we cut it up, oh my God, the, the the flavor, the texture, everything was dead on. Now we were using this as a camping brisket. We're taking it with us on a camping trip to Monterey and we don't want to eat it all. So we showed you the flat, the more leaner side of the brisket. And to us, it was just as flavorful as other parts of the brisket. And in fact, some people prefer that leaner side. We like them both guys, but you know what? We took the point camping with us and um, we had a feast. So that's it guys for today. Hope you enjoyed the uh, quick little tutorial on how I made a brisket. As you guys can see, I have the Yoder smoker fired up. I'm cleaning it out. I oiled it down. Now I'm baking in that oil a little bit, a uh, little bit of maintenance, get ready for some more cooks that we're going to take you with us on. Also today, it's a beautiful day. As you can see, we've got the pool going here and we're going to be putting on some tomahawk steaks here in a little while and enjoying our Sunday at home. All right, guys, we will see you on the next cook.